Well, first of all, we are aware that St. Mark's is a wonderful school right now, but the best schools, just like the best organizations, are always seeking to get better. We all talk a lot in this country about investments in infrastructure, and I think there was a conclusion here at St. Mark's at the board that one of the best investments in infrastructure we could make is in education. I really love the commitment that this um, school has to its teachers, to their development. I really feel that the faculty is very, very strong here and I'm extremely excited about the idea that this place will become a real node of practice for the faculty, that people will want to come here because this is a better place to hone one's practice as a teacher. I think that that will only benefit the students here. The three pieces of the strategic plan are first, the Center for Innovation and Teaching and Learning. Uh, which I characterize as a place where all the educators and all the students can come together and uh, have a real academic spark. We've got a, we've got a athletic center. We have a center for the arts. Uh, we need a center for teaching and learning. Uh, people would argue that that happens in the classroom every day. Yes, but it doesn't happen in a cohesive fashion. Uh, the center allows uh, teachers and students to really get the best and everybody can do more to get the best out of themselves. I am very enthusiastic about the intellectual soul of the school to be literally at the heart of the campus. Um, I think that really sends a message not only to the uh, people looking at the school, but it sends a message to the students about how serious this school is in terms of its education. I view the center as a place which will allow uh, the sparks of ideas uh, to become uh, the engines of innovation. We want that to happen for the kids and for the teachers and be able to propagate that beyond the walls of St. Mark's School. And then for faculty, for students, and for the school as a whole, what I'm most excited about is that the center will be an ongoing engine of educational innovation. So we have a pretty good idea about what the best uh, new practices are that we really need to apply in 2012 and 13, and that's all around, say, systems thinking, it's all around collaborative learning. But in 2020, we don't know what the latest and greatest ideas will be that we need to apply in a St. Mark's classroom, but this center will provide a place where those great ideas that we don't even know yet will be able to come into St. Mark's and then get translated in an outstanding way in a St. Mark's classroom. STEM initiative, science, technology, engineering, and math, uh, it, it, which is a program to bring together those disciplines and get the best out of each while working together. Uh, this is an area that's incredibly important for our country. There's a huge emphasis on it. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So that education is all about interdisciplinary work. So what you learn in your physics classroom correlates with what you learn in your math classroom and vice versa. We need those teachers talking to one another the STEM education is all about real world curriculum. So you're studying climate change, you're studying population growth, you're studying water. And the uh, exercises that you're given in your math class, in your science class, will have real world applications. Then also for those who develop a particular interest in any STEM field, we will have internships lined up at the best research universities in the country and at the best research labs in the country, all of which are within 30 minutes of the St. Mark's campus. Uh, we want to make sure that St. Mark's students are prepared when they graduate uh, to tackle global issues uh, and, to, and to communicate and operate in a global environment so they can really succeed in doing whatever they do best. And hopefully that's going forward and being leaders in their individual communities and in their individual fields. What I'm excited about for the Global Citizenship Initiative is that moving forward, before students go to Ghana or Romania or Beijing, wherever they're going to go, they actually spend some time in a structured way understanding that culture so that they go there, they'll have a richer experience, and then they'll process it while they're there, and then when they come back, they'll have the opportunity to debrief in a systematic way. So there's an example of how we're already doing some good global citizenship work but we're excited about the possibility of making that experience even richer so the kids develop an a, even deeper understanding of what's happening and become even more thoughtful 
global citizens. Our world is more interconnected than it ever was before. And so the real imperative to understand other cultures, to put yourself in the shoes of somebody who lives in another culture and understand how they view the world is more important now than ever before. And so that's what the strategic plan, those two initiatives, STEM and global citizenship, will address. Some people might worry that uh, a strategic plan is either just a piece of paper that, that uh, doesn't go anywhere or in fact a real plan that fundamentally changes a school that they, uh, uh, that they hold dearly. I can assure you that the strategic plan is not an empty suit. Um, we, we, we work together with educators inside and outside uh, these walls. Uh, we work with employers, uh, with uh, parents, uh, with students. Uh, to really get a plan we think that, that works. It's really hard to, to make big changes in a school with, with the history and legacy uh, of St. Mark's, but we can make changes and uh, don't worry, uh, the quad's not going away and uh, they'll still be hanging around in this beautiful old building for a long period of time to come. I am really, really excited. I'm really excited to be a part of it because as wonderful as this place is, as, as, as privileged as my kids are to have gone to a school like this, this school could become endangered, I think. This style of education could become endangered if it isn't in some way adapted to um, just the incredible amount of change that we have experienced culturally in the last 50 years. All the changes that will be happening to implement this plan will be based on making sure that this character continues to stay strong, but how we educate around character will evolve in appropriate ways for the 21st century. In that way, we are absolutely holding true to our outstanding intellectual tradition.